Thursday. It's 12.36. <laughs> I thought I couldn't sleep, so what better way than to pass time than to make this video? So, uh, this week's topic is binding and or packing, and I thought I'd talk about binding safety, since um, I do bind, but I don't pack. <laughs> okay, so one of the things I want to talk about that's extremely important is that when you're ordering online, make sure that you get the right size. And I'm and by that I mean do the measurements by what the website's telling you to do and the sizing charts. And if you're not sure, be sure to go up a size if you're in between or um because you really don't want to get that size smaller because uh that's too small for you because that will restrict your breathing. Um and really if you think you get a size smaller it will make you flatter honestly that's a, it won't look flatter and it's high it's really really dangerous because it can really restrict your breathing and it can really like bruise and break your ribs and all the not fun stuff um something else i want to talk about is very important um do not bind when with a bandages or duct tape or anything like that if you're going to bind please please buy a binder because a binder is the only safe way to bind and when you do bind only bind for a maximum of eight hours and even then you shouldn't start with eight hours right off the bat you should be um you should start with maybe an hour or and then go just slowly go up so your body can get used to it because the longer you wear it the more damage it can do to your body um you can bind with sports bras um kind of that's the one way to keep them that's one way to keep them more flatter some people what some people like to do is to double layer their sports bras and i while I'm okay with that. It's what I used to do. You really should not be doing that in actual sports or um, not for very long. And that leads me to my next thing. Do not bind during sports. Do not bind in any strenuous activity. Do not bind in anything that may cause you to breathe harder or to breathe, take more breaths than the normal. Um, if you has if you have asthma, please please keep attention on your body because it just it can restrict the expansion of your lungs, which is why ace bandages are so bad. Is because the more you they the more you restrict them, the harder they're gonna press back on you, and that's just gonna cause that that's what, one part of the reasons why they break ribs. Um, do not layer your binders because you're never going to be completely flat with your binders um, unfortunately that's just the case uh, but one way you can wear a binder wear some baggy clothes over it um, but do not uh, layer your binders do, please do not wear a sports bra under your binder um, and when it's since it's summer, I saw a post about on this on Tumblr. It's very important. Please take care of yourself when you're binding in the summer. Keep yourself plenty hydrated. Um, when you wear baggy clothes, it can be really, really hot with your binder, especially. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's really my crash course on binding safety. If you have anything to add, please add them to the comment section below. Um, Check in next Thursday to see me again. Love you guys.